Hello everybody, my name is John Cokes and I'm here on my vacation. <laughs> vacation from New York and here I am uh, in Mexico. You can't ask for a more exciting vacation than that. But uh, two and a half months ago I was here for stem cell therapy. And it was such a great experience and I felt I was emotionally moved by this wonderful Dr. Omar Gonzalez that I'm back again on my vacation, setting this up again, so that we can spread the word. We also have Sister Fran, and she's gonna be also telling her wonderful story about 13 years of stem cell therapy. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna excuse myself, and Dr. Omar, please take it over. So I want you to meet uh, Sister Fran, a uh, long time patient and friend of mine. Um, she's doing great and uh, she's been around with us uh, as patient for a while, for many years now. And so, uh, so please, uh, uh, we want to hear how, what she has to say about the treatment she's, she's done for 13 years. Uh, for, it's for you to know that uh, then, 13 years ago, it was not considered to be like a stem cell therapy. Uh, it became a stem cell therapy in 2002 when we found out about the content of the placenta tissue that has 10 times more stem cells than umbilical cord blood. So, um, so please, uh, uh, we want to hear uh, Sister Fran what she has to say about it. Uh, it's been 13 years and she's doing, uh, she's doing it many times uh, for anti-aging. Um, but you know, I just want to want you to take a. Uh, a look at what she had to say about it, okay? Hi, Sister Friend. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing fine, and I'm very delighted to be here this afternoon because uh, I owed a debt of gratitude to our dear friend, Dr. Omar Gonzalez, for having given me these uh, stem cell uh, implants from the placenta for 13 years. And actually, uh, I've been here uh, twice a year. So I, except for this past year when I did not return but one time. So I would say this is my 25th anniversary. So what a fitting time to be here today. Mm -hmm. yeah. And at the beginning, uh, I came because, uh, well, a sister that I live with, Sister Nancy, was getting treatments. And about that time, I had breast cancer. And Dr. Omar uh, Gonzalez said to Sister Nancy, be sure you bring her in. So I came in post-haste uh, to get the first treatment. And uh, I still, after 13 years, thank God, I am cancer-free. And there have been a number of other side effects of having come here. First of all is to be with Dr. Omar, who is a very gentle, loving, caring man, has a beautiful family, and uh, takes care of his patients in more ways than one. And uh, people just love coming here. I hear from winter Texans who come here also. They spend the winter here and they love coming here too. If for no other reasons, just to be around him. I, um, there was the, some other side effects of the fact that I am still uh, cancer free. Uh, I had uh, mitre valve prolapse and that was came through with an echocardiogram um, about 15, 16 years ago. And since then, I've had two other echocardiograms and it has not shown up. This doesn't prove uh, necessarily that I don't have mitre valve prolapse, but I believe that really it has had that effect that I no longer have that disease because um, I feel so good. Uh, I have a lot of energy. Um, I'm very relaxed uh, where at times I would have a reason probably to be uh, uptight, but it's, uh, it helps to relieve stress also. How many hours a day do you work? Um, at least eight hours. <laughs> uh, and so I'm still going. I think I'm like the energizer bunny that <laughs> just keeps going. And uh, so the um, other uh, effects of that, I believe, is... Um, it's just a, um, a feeling of, um, uh, what should I say? Well-being. Yes, well-being is the best word for it. Thank you for that yes. little cue because uh, that, that is really true. 
And uh, in fact, uh, I keep on keeping on simply because, well, first of all, because of God's grace, but also of the good health care that I receive here at this clinic. And I just advise anybody who uh, has a, a, any type of a problem that you seem to have difficulty uh, having a cure for it, I, I highly re recommend that you come here, meet Dr. Omar, and you will be happy that you came. And so everybody that's listening, uh, I encourage you because it's been wonderful. It's a wonderful life. <laughs> um, how moral and ethical this technique is. Uh, we are not using embryonic. We are not using embryonic. We are not using fetal. We're not do doing anything that would harm anybody. Uh, and uh, the proof of that is that we're using the human placenta tissue after the baby is born through a special methodology of uh, recollection of the placenta tissue. Uh, so uh, it's also for you to know that uh, this is a moral and ethical technique. Okay? And, and the placenta, maybe you address that just now and I missed it, the plac placenta does not come from an aborted uh, exactly. baby. That comes from a natural birth. The baby has a normal a baby was well delivered through a special, uh, you know, of course, with a, after a C-section. Uh, then uh, it's collected in a special methodology uh, and, uh, and prepared for an implantation. So, uh, so nobody is harmed, uh, nor the baby, nor the, the mother. And, you know, it's a tissue that normally would be discarded. Uh, but instead of doing that, we prepare it. Uh, for, for healing or for, for therapy.